The next thing is the Divi theme customizer, where we will make some more settings and you find it under Divi and theme customizer. So here I'll see a preview on my website. It doesn't look much right now. We can see that it's the Divi logo, so it's made with Divi. And uh, I will choose general settings and site identity. And here we can set the site title and the tagline. And uh, if we look at the end result, we can see that the title is Divi Crib and the tagline is a demo website from Divi Mundo. Divi Crib as my title. This is really important for SEO, so make sure to have your keywords and uh, brand name in there. I would recommend that for good SEO. Uh, and the tagline could be a beautiful website for everyone. Okay, that's easy enough. So a site icon is important and easy to forget. So that's what you see up here in the tab to the left of the name or the title. So here we have uh, for the example website, we have a D in a golden circle. Uh, WordPress have their WordPress logo and there we have Elegant Themes have their logo there with a star. So we'll upload an icon. It should be at least 512 times 512 pixels. So here we go. And you can download all the images and, and media files that we use in this course. So just check down in the description below this video to download the images and just follow me step by step. So I'll take the image called favicon.png and I will drag it and drop it. And now we can select the image. And uh, if you have an image that is maybe not square, you can crop it here and, and style it. But I've just uploaded a square image that is 512 pixels high and width. So I can just choose skip cropping. And uh, we can see that it shows up here in the page title. So here we have our favicon. So we go back, we can check here the layout settings. It's nothing we have to worry about. We will use the Divi Builder to, to design this. And the same thing with the typography. So those are old settings that were used in earlier versions of Divi, but now we will use a global defaults and the Divi Visual Builder to create all the design. We can jump out of these general settings. And the same goes for the header navigation. We'll create that in the, the Divi theme builder. That's the new modern way of doing it. And we will also do that for the footer and the buttons we will create with the Divi visual builder and the blog, we will create a template in the theme builder. And also the mobile styles we'll do directly in the Divi visual builder. And we don't need to set any color schemes, menus, widgets, or homepage settings, not right now at least. And uh, the last thing that you should be aware of is the additional CSS. So if you like to code, you can add some uh, additional CSS here. 